Right guys, so what I want to do, oh my god, I do not stop with this thing. <laughs> this is weird. See, look at the mouse, the mouse. I don't know why the mouse is like that. Right, let me, let me reconnect the cable. Right, the mouse is still stuck. I don't know how to get the mouse out, you see? Look where it is. Right, I think I'll need to use a different method. So I'm gonna try and use my my iPhone. Um, you know this thing called uh, remote desktop thing from the iPhone? I mean, I don't know what's up with the mouse, it's just stuck. So, so it's stuck. I'm using this thing called remote desktop sorry about it if it's not uh, you see so that's remote desktop because the mouse is currently stuck right so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a stream wow it's it's acting all weird right so I don't know what's up um, let's see yeah let me let me remove the mouse my physical mouse and let me see if that fixes it right let's see no it's not yeah, something is really up with my Steam Deck. I think I need to restart the Steam Deck because you see the mouse thing isn't working properly. See, it just keeps uh, going upwards. So I think I need to start restart my Steam Deck, and um, then I'm going to restart it, and then hopefully that will fix the issue because I don't know how else to fix this. So I'm gonna actually have to force restart it uh, because. I normally just hold it for like 10 seconds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's shut down. I'm going to restart it. I ha the reason why I forced restart the Steam Deck is because the mouse was not working and then when I did the remote desktop from my iPhone, you see, when I did remote desktop, it still wouldn't work. So obviously, um, if it's not working with both areas, then I have to assume that uh, there's something... Um, you know something happening right so what i'll do is i think it's gonna restart and while it's restarting i'll just uh, reconnect the mouse and hope that this fixes it right so i'm hoping that this is gonna fix the error uh i don't know if my steam deck has started up or not so i have to go i have to do all of this i mean it's it's irritating to do it this way but there's nothing else i can do so i've i've clicked on it i hope it's gonna restart the steam deck uh the reason why this has happened i think it's because at some point when i was uh changing those cables remember i said i was using the cable for the phone and uh the reason is because of the 50 the 67 watt thing and uh, you know steam deck doesn't like third parties uh third party program so i think what's happened is while i was trying to change the cable maybe the mouse cable came out a little bit and then when i reattached the cables and then i was checking on my mouse cable i think that's i think that's what could have happened i'm not saying 100 percent. i'm just saying i feel like maybe that's the issue you know because i i don't know what else the issue could be because i mean there's nothing else i did with the steam deck Apart from just uh, making these videos and showing you guys what I'm doing, playing games, and uh, like I said, um, when I when I put back the cable, right? Okay, fine. Let me get mobility center back up. Uh, I'm gonna get this sound thing. So everything you see me doing here, I'm actually doing. I'm sending all this stuff to my other monitor. I told you I use two monitors. I use the Acer monitor. And I also use a uh, AOC gaming monitor. The gaming monitor is actually set to 144 hertz, so it, it just makes it m much easier for me to use. I'm actually gonna set. I I had this on Xbox. I'm gonna set this to DualShock. Um, only because I want to use this on uh, on my uh, what you call this on uh, War Robots Frontiers. Because remember yesterday. I told you guys I, I was having issues with um, with uh, this actually running 
on uh, on the on the Steam Deck. But then I did tell you guys I don't think it was the Steam Deck itself that was causing the problem. I think it was just uh, errors coming in from uh, right. So my mouse was gone. I hope it's not gonna blue screen because it's everything has just gone paused. So <laughs> when the Steam Deck pauses, I know it's a blue screen. But let's let's wait and see if that's what's really gonna happen. You see what did I say? I knew it. I knew it. Every time it does, if it pauses and you can't move the mouse, it's a blue screen. But it's okay. Let it restart. It's fine. I mean, it's annoying, but there's nothing I can do. These are the issues when you when you overclocking the Steam Deck. This is what happens. The blue screen is fine. We we all know that this is just the Windows thing, you know. It's gonna reboot. I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did, which is trying going to those programs to get everything uh, started up again. While this is happening, let me just uh, watch. I'm gonna play some of my videos. Um, I mean, it's irritating to say the least. It's irritating to say the least, but there's there's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. Right, so it's it started back up. Uh, I'm gonna try to get my things going on this side. Right, so what I'm doing on my phone basically is I do watch videos. Um, I like to see the videos, and on this phone, the advantage of the I've told you guys the advantage of the Samsung, especially the Z Fold, the fact that it's got a double screen means. I can actually, I can literally watch two videos at the same time. So I'm actually watching videos that I made earlier that I that I've uploaded already, and I'm watching both of them at the same time on one screen. So I think that's dope. I like that future. You know, you can. It means I don't have to use two phones. I use one phone, and I can watch both of my channels. I've got two channels, and then I can see how the video turned out. And if I wanted to, I could put sound. But obviously, I'm making a video right now, and I'm trying to get this sorted. It's just unfortunate that Steam Deck has this issue of, of blue screening. But I mean, it happens. Right, my laptop keeps going off. I don't want my laptop to go off, because if that goes off, um, it's going to be a problem restarting it, you know? I mean, it's not a huge issue. I'll just leave these programs. You guys can look at the programs if you want to. Uh, I want to get Omen Gaming Hub because I, I'm pretty sure that shut down as well. You know, it, it always closes uh, when this uh, stuff is going on. Right, so I want to get this up and running. Um, the adrenaline stuff is automatic. That automatically will start uh, with the Steam Deck uh, turning on. And then I've got a few items in here that I need to send to the other... Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Why does it keep doing this? Because you know what? I, I returned the original adapter. The original adapter is in this. You know what I think is going on? Okay. I think I know what's going on. I actually have two. I've got two uh, programs running at the same time. I've got two programs for overclocking. So I think I need to exit one of the programs. It's just my theory. I need to exit one of those programs, and then obviously, I uh, hope I have to hope that that's gonna fix the issue, because I, I need I need this I need this to work. Otherwise, this is just going to be a huge uh, problem. I need this to work. It's it it cannot do this because <coughs> because the thing is, if I overclock the Steam Deck. I'm, I'm already overclocking my laptop, you understand? My laptop's like 2145, I mean it's, it's, really, it's really up there. You know what I'm thinking? Let me get Steam first up and running. Maybe if I get Steam running, then it will stop shutting down. Because I, I don't know why it's doing this. You understand? I mean, I was just playing games. You see that hand control panel? That thing, I think, is also causing an issue. Like I said, I've got more than one uh, overclocking program uh, on the on my Steam Deck, so I don't know if that's what's causing the issue. So 
the reason why I started up uh, Steam first is hoping, I'm hoping that Steam sometimes it can help you with certain programs because if the programs are causing crashing, because I think, I'm just saying it's my theory, maybe Steam can just help uh, resolute that, you know? Because I don't understand why it's crashing in the first place. You know, all these programs that you see me opening were open when I was playing Call of Duty 3. So I don't see why now suddenly it's causing an issue. You understand? So I was just thinking, my mindset is like, no, just get Steam up and running first. Because if Steam is running in the background, maybe that's going to help uh, kind of sort out your problem. You see? Now that I've got Steam running in the background, it seems like it's okay. But I just want to make sure that this is not going to cause a problem. It says MSI is available for streaming. That's what I want to do. I want to stream games. But I do need to get this... Um, I need these programs to be up and running. So I'm thinking, let me not shut down Steam. Let me get Omen Gaming Hub running. The reason why I use all these programs, I'll tell you this, is because... I have a theory that if I have, if I can overclock my Steam Deck to the best of my ability, I hope I am overclocking it. I don't know if I am or if I'm not. I'm just saying I hope the programs are actually helping the Steam Deck to overclock. And then obviously, if that is what is happening in the background and my, and my laptop is also overclocking and then I stream the game, that would help the game, isn't it? Because it's just going to be a more fluid connection. So that's my theory. That's why I'm doing this. So instead of just sitting here and saying, well, it's just going to work because it's streaming. But then my mind is like, no, uh, my laptop is designed for games. It's a gaming laptop, <laughs> you know. It's a gaming laptop. It's not going to fail. But where, where I've got uh, an issue is the Steam Deck. It's an actual Steam Deck, not, not my laptop. My laptop's got no issue. There's nothing wrong with the laptop. The laptop is working, it's doing its thing, you know. But the problem now is this this program is just ah, man. I, I hope you know my laptop is, is also I just want to stream one game man. I just don't understand why this is happening like this. It's so frustrating. You know, you you've you've you you've been I've been doing this overclocking for such a long time on my Steam Deck. It's not like I started today. I've, I've got so many videos of me doing this, you know, talking about this stuff. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to exit out of the other one. I close the other one. Right, I'll tell you something. I've got two of them. This, the one that I use is called AMD Power Control Panel. The one that you saw that opened up uh, when Steam Deck restarted is called Hand Control Panel. They're different. They're not the same. But they do the, they, they do the exact same thing. They overclock the Steam Deck but they clash because the other one goes all the way up to 80 watts where's the steam deck uh the one that i use for amd goes up to 50 watts you understand so i think they clash so every time when i have it running together with uh, amd it causes a problem that's why i was trying to figure out why it was blue screening so i thought to myself it's because you've got two programs running that do the exact same thing Right, so this is AMD Power Control Panel. I was going to talk to you guys about how I set this up and what I've got in here. I've got custom. I use Radeon Chill. Uh, minimum FPS is set to 40. Maximum FPS is set to 59. And then I've got Radeon Image Shopping set to 10%. But I'm going to lower this to, uh, sorry, 20%. I'm going to lower this to 10% on advanced. I've got multi-sampling. Uh, I've got texture filtering quality set to performance, surface fort format optimization is enabled. I've got AMD optimized. Uh, I think that is for uh, Teslaization mode. And then for anti, whatever you call it, it's uh, saying use application settings. Uh, I mean, you can always uh, enhance or overwrite, but I think it's best to just use application settings. Uh, then it says uh, vertical refresh is set to off unless application specifies. Right, then it's got this display stuff. I think I talked to you guys last time about this. You can actually set this individually set for all of my displays. And what this is, is vivid gaming. 
display color uh, enhancements I set to Vivid Gaming. All of them are set to the same Vivid Gaming. I think it just improves the contrast of your games. Then home is just showing like the, it will show the average FPS as well for games. In here, it's got some stuff to do with memory, system memory. It says 16 uh, gigabyte, 5500 megahertz memory. It says GPU memory, AMD custom GPU, 0405, 400 megabytes, uh, 687 megahertz. And it says CPU utilization is 5%. GPU utilization because obviously I'm not playing the game right now. Then it's got FPS, it's got uh, frame rate and frame time. Uh, in here it's got FPS, GPU, GPU memory, GPU system memory. Uh, sampling interval is set to 1.75. Uh, on overlay, right, so I think there's some stuff in there that was uh, set off. Right, so um, show metrics overlay, show graphs and metrics meters sorry uh, location top right size percentage 100 percent columns one transparency percent 30 text color is uh white right so i think this one is just system memory gpu memory and speed and then it says utilization for cpu and then obviously the utilization and temperature for gpu and uh, fps uh, frames right so i'm trying to find where I've got all this, the sampling interval is 1.75. So I know you're gonna think like, so where do you get all this information from? Well, basically, um, I had to watch a lot of um, YouTube videos and uh, that's where I found the sampling interval, uh, 1.75. Uh, I think it's something to do with the frames per second. Some people said it at 2.0, but uh, the person said 1.75 is the best. In here it says AMD custom GPU 0405, uh, VRAM 4096 megabytes, LPDDR5, which is the, the memory for um, Steam Deck. That's the memory the Steam Deck's got. Uh, VRAM, you need to change that in your BIOS. I've got videos on BIOS, how to get into that BIOS and change it. There's one gig, two gig, three gig, and four gigabyte. No, no, sorry, one gigabyte VRAM, two gigabyte VRAM, and then four. Uh, you cannot play uh, Call of Duty three with uh, or two with uh, one or two gigabytes. Doesn't work. You need to set it to four. So mine set to four. Uh, then it says uh, RAM is sixteen. Right. So this is just information preferences um, in application overlays uh, enabled. I've got system tray menu enabled. I've got toast not notification enabled. Always on top uh, enabled. Language English uh, a sidebar position left side. Animations in effects disabled. Advertisements disabled. A web browser disabled. Uh, reason for that is because obviously I don't need it. I don't want uh, to have that. Then it says uh, video profile. Vivid, um, I use Vivid. That's what I use for my gaming on the Steam Deck. Right, um, it's got hotkeys. If you guys use hotkeys, they're all in here. Uh, preferences, audio and video, like I said, I use Vivid. Uh, system is where we came from. Performance is the one, uh, it's all in here with the overlay and stuff. I don't know why this keeps turning off. Right. Um, Right, it's, uh, it's got settings, that's the sampling interval, and it's all in here. And then if you go to home, it just shows the last game I was playing, War Robots Frontiers and Call of Duty. Like I said, Call of Duty 2 is where Call of Duty 3 was uh, put on top. I told you it was just an additional um, software that was added to Call of Duty 2. Uh, that's Modern Warfare. Call of Duty 2 works really well on Steam Deck, but Call of Duty 3 is uh, the problem area right in here when you come in here is where you can actually click on a game and you can go through all the settings in here so like i told you i use i don't use the radeon anti-lag i use radeon chill because of you can set the minimum fps i set it to 40 the maximum fps i set to 59 uh where did i get this from youtube again youtube they always say don't put 60 put 59 because it's just easier that way 
uh, vertical sync is uh, off unless application specifies AMD free sync is AMD are optimized scaling mode global setting default custom color disabled display color enhancement uh, use global settings color deficiency correction use global settings so basically everything in here is just global whatever I've done in the performance or in the settings itself sorry I'm trying to find where I, I have all that stuff right it's in graphics sorry in graphics however I set it in here in graphics and in advanced uh, I, like I told you I don't use super sampling I use multi sampling and I also use uh, AMD optimized I use performance surface uh, format optimization is enabled I use Radeon Chill, like I said, and I use Radio, uh, Radeon, sorry, Ra Radeon Chill and Radeon Image Sharpening, and that's set to 10%. Right, so like I said, you, when you, anything you're doing here in this graphics it becomes the global setting for all your games. Okay, so everything is global. Uh, so when you see me coming in here, and then I'm saying global settings, that's what I mean, the graphics. Whatever you set the graphics to, becomes a global uh, but obviously you can go individually into games if there's anything you want to turn off you can turn off individually for those games unless you just want to use global settings which is uh, good enough because multi something is the best one unless there's something that you want to do maybe it's a game that you know that can handle uh, the steam that can handle that game and play it better then you can set it the way you want to you just enter the game just click on it and then you can go into here and you use the settings that you want to set it to. Like I said, maybe the image sharpening can be set much higher than 10%. Maybe the minimum frame rate can be set to 100. Maybe the maximum frame rate can be unlimited. You can push it all the way back. So maybe you don't want to use Radeon Chill. You only use Radeon Anti-Lag. Maybe your Radeon image sharpening can be set to something else. Maybe vertical sync can be turned on for that game. So you can individually do this for the games. That's why I'm saying. And then you can start the game. And then obviously when you come out of it like this, then suddenly that game that you have done the differences to, that's not using the global settings, will now uh, not be uh, with the others, you see? So it's like separated from the others. So once you start it, it's on its own. It's like a favorite. So now you know that when you play that game, it's got the settings that you set for it individually. So this is why you would need uh, to use uh, this uh, AMD software, Adrenaline Edition. So how do you get this? Um, you have to go to your Steam website and you have to go to Valve. So yes, I did have a, uh, the other driver, but the other driver didn't have the Adrenaline Edition. And obviously, if you can't set the, the, the graphics... Uh, for Steam Deck and you can't change uh, what you can do in the game like you saw at uh, the sampling intervals and radio and chill maximum FPS minimum if you can't do any of that stuff then what's the point of having the driver you understand so I, I, I played around with the other one I, I, I thought it was okay but at the end of the day it didn't make much sense to have a driver that doesn't have the adrenaline addition so I went back I reverted back to Volf uh, I mean Volf's driver but I do have it. I mean, if I go into my, um, right, I need to go to control panel. If, if Let me find control panel, and I'll just show you uh, quickly if, if I can find control panel, wherever that is. So it's, um, it will appear at some point. So I think, yeah, it, it will be somewhere in here. So if I go to control panel, hardware and sound, device manager, and then if I go into this one, uh, this is just the device stuff. If I go to display and then I actually select this one, go to the driver, go to update driver, go to browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick uh, from a list of available drivers on my computer and you will see that it does have the driver I'm using. Plus it's got the AMD Radeon RX 670 graphics and it's got two of them. And then it's got the basic display adapter and the one I'm using, the custom driver. So I still have those drivers, they're still there. If I want to use them, I can go back to them, but I didn't see much of a difference using them. That's why I'm not using them right now. Right guys, so I've explained everything about that. I've, I've explained why I, I went back to the original driver 
that um, I just feel is uh, just a whole lot better. So I'm selecting MSI. I'm going to stream this game directly from my PC. I mean from my laptop. Uh, in the next video, I'll be streaming this from my laptop directly. Like I said, I did videos showing you the game playing on Steam Deck, but you also, it's not a good performance. It, there's a lot of stuttering. Uh, there's a lot of things I couldn't do in that game. So, I don't know what graphics level it's going to set it. It doesn't matter. All I want to do basically is just play the game. And the next video will be about that.